great to be sharing with you this morning from my garage, which is coincidentally serving as my gym during this time of the lockdown as well. And lately I've been reading through uh, 1 Timothy, the letter that Paul wrote to Timothy. And uh, I've been dwelling on chapters 3 and 4 lately. And in there, um, I see how Paul is giving advice to Timothy about how um, leadership should be established in the church. And he talks in particular about how uh, people within the church should be behaving. And uh, I, I stopped on, on verse 15 of chapter 3, where Paul says that he wishes to come to, to Timothy, but he says that uh, in the meantime, this is how you should behave. This is how you ought to behave in the household, household of God, um, which is the church of the living God. And he says, the church is then a pillar and a buttress of truth. And here is the reminder, you and I, we make up the church. We are the body of Christ. And the challenge for me has been, how are we reflecting that we are the buttress and the pillar of truth to the world around us at this time? Paul goes on to warn Timothy, and he says that some people will fall away from the faith. But he encourages Timothy down in, in verse uh, 6 of chapter 4, where he says, uh, you will be a good servant of Jesus Christ, being trained in the words of faith and the good doctrine that you have followed. And he goes on to say in verses uh, 8, where he says, in 7, where he says, you need to train yourself for godliness. And that's where I'm dwelling on at the moment, where Paul saying that, yes, it's good to, to do physical exercise as well, of uh, some importance. He goes on and he reminds us that godliness is what we should be after and what we should be training, uh, training for. So let's read it together. 1 Timothy 4, 7 to 10. Have nothing to do with irreverent, silly myths. Rather, train yourself for godliness. For while, godly, for while bodily training is of some value, godliness is of value in every way, as it holds promise for the future life and also for the life to come. The saying is trustworthy and deserving of full acceptance, for it is this, it is to this end we toil and strive, because we have our hope set on the living God, who is the Savior of all people, especially those who believe. And friends, I take encouragement from that this morning, that while in this lockdown we tend to have people that are focused, and we, some of us are focused on this challenge, of, can I do a 21 kilometer run around my house, can I maintain my fitness levels, um, let's be encouraged that at this time, Let's not lose sight of uh, training ourselves up in godliness. Let's spend time in the Word of God. Let's spend time seeking Him. There's such a wonderful opportunity to do that. And let's not lose heart um, in this time where we say, well, this seems to be such a, 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 a waste of time. No, not at all. It's a time where we can get into the Word and we can read more often and we can pray a whole lot more. Let us um, train ourselves up for godliness. Um, for it is the promise that, that, that we have. There is hope that, we, that uh, comes with that. And remember, we do it because ultimately we are the body of Christ and we are being uh, put on display. And we are, as Paul said earlier in chapter 3, we are the pillar and the buttress of truth. So here's the challenge to us while we are in this lockdown. Um, how are we displaying that we are the pillar and buttress of truth? I want you to think of and, and ask God to reveal it to you. Is how can you reach out to others, others that might be in need, others that now might need a word of encouragement? How can you contact someone and just lift them up and encourage them? What is it you can do to help them and how can you do it? Pray, spend time praying and, and bring um, the friends and the people that God places on your heart, bring them before God and, and let's encourage one another. Um, in, in the time of, of, of as we seek God and in this time, because it's such an opportunity to do so. And God has given us this opportunity to grow and be trained in, the, in godliness. So friends, I trust that you've been encouraged by this. Go and read chapters 3 and 4 of Timothy um, and uh, be blessed.